Have you ever stopped to think about what you're doing with your life? With how hectic things have become, it's very easy to forget what you're doing and who you really are. Perhaps you've gotten so used to working at your nine to five job and doing the same thing over and over again, day in and day out, that you've given up or forgotten about your initial goals and dreams. You might also be so focused on being accepted by society and doing things for others that you end up losing yourself. So if you've been struggling lately, here are six questions to reveal who you truly are. Number one, what are you thinking right now? What is your current mental state? Do you take time to self-reflect? Asking yourself about your current mental state and being able to reflect on it can be very helpful in many ways. For example, when you question and analyze your thoughts and feelings, you can become more introspective, which in turn can make you more aware of your needs and wants. By doing this, you can make better decisions that are aligned and in tune with how you really feel. Number two, are you happy with your life? Why? And this might sound a bit redundant, but asking yourself if you're happy is essential in your search for happiness. While you might think this is a given, you may be surprised by the number of people who avoid this question. Instead, a lot of people get trapped inside the idea that you should work a nine to five job to be economically sufficient and happy. But most of the time they end up stuck at a job they don't like, completely forgetting about their initial goals and their dreams and their own happiness. Number three, is there anything bothering you? If so, why is it still there? And is it okay to ignore it? Have there been things you've been purposefully avoiding? Addressing things that are bothering you is one of the main ways that you can protect your emotional stability. Of course, if it only bothers you slightly and you can ignore it without getting affected, then it may be okay to leave it be. However, if there are things that are bothering you a lot, but you've just decided to ignore them, then you might end up building up resentment and anger until it finally becomes too overwhelming for you. Number four, if you had three days left to live, what are three things you would do? This question has the main objective of letting you identify what it is that you really wanna do. It might spark a sense of urgency in you and help you get your priorities in order. For example, you might be putting so much effort into your job that you completely forget about spending time with your parents or friends. By asking yourself this question, you can remind yourself what is really important to you and help you break out of whatever it is that's not allowing you to prioritize correctly. Number five, what is your perfect everyday routine? Let's get a bit creative here. Can you think of a routine that makes you happy and helps you achieve your goals? Even if your idea of a perfect everyday routine involves playing video games or watching TV all day long, you still need to get there. This may mean being financially or emotionally independent in order to be able to do whatever you want. By following your ideal everyday routine, you'll be able to get rid of activities or tasks that don't contribute to your goals. And number six, how do you want to be remembered? This question can have a huge impact on what you do from now on. You might believe that only celebrities can leave legacies, but each and every person leaves a legacy when they pass on. Your legacy or legacies are those special reasons that you're remembered for. How you're remembered depends completely on what kind of person you are and the things that you do. Do you wanna be remembered as a loving and caring person who was always there to help others? If so, you might want to become more active with your relationships, like to catch up with your family and friends. Have you tried asking yourself these questions? As a general tip, remember to be as honest as possible with yourself whenever you self-reflect. Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and share this video with those who might benefit from it. Subscribe.